Hi class, welcome back. I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this video, we're going to explore again implicit differentiation, but of a different example. So we're going to start with the instructions to find dy dx. And so just a reminder, this tells us we're going to find the derivative of y, but with respect to x. And the equation that we are going to find using the derivative using implicit differentiation is this one, square root of y plus x times natural log of y equal to x cubed. So here we go. We are going to start and we're going to first just kind of set up this uh, derivative here. And what I'm going to do is take the derivative of the left side and also take the derivative of the right side. So I have here d d x. I'm taking the derivative with respect to our x of the entire left side. So square root of y plus x natural log y. And then I'm also going to take the derivative of the right side. So d dx of our x cubed. Now right here, I'm also going to take the liberty of saying, well, you know what, when we are trying to find the derivative of square root terms, it's really advantageous for us to write that as an exponent instead. So I'm going to take away our square root here and just rewrite that as y to the one half power. Those are equivalent expressions. And by doing this, it will help us when we actually try to find the derivative because we can leverage the power rule instead. Okay, so here we go. We are going to find the derivative of each of these components. There are three of them total. And I just again reminding when we are taking the derivative, we need to track what we're finding the derivative with respect to. So my first term, y to the one half, it is a y term. There's no x's involved here, but yet I'm still finding the derivative of this y term with respect to x. So for starters, you go about finding the derivative using your rules like normal. So here's the power rule that's gonna come up. So of course we bring the one half down in front, subtract one from the power just like normal for that part. So we have uh, one half out front times y to the negative one half. Again, bring the one half down in front, subtract one from that power. I now have a power of negative one half. But because for that term I took the derivative with respect to x and it was a y term, I need to track my derivative notation and multiply by dy dx. Because I took the derivative of a y term, but with respect to x, this pops up for us. Okay, now we'll continue on and we get to this second term. Here we notice that we are multiplying between x and natural log of y. So now we have to use our product rule to be able to find the derivative of this expression. And when we are taking the derivative of the y component, we need to make sure that we bring in our special derivative notation, dy dx. When we are taking the derivative of the x component, we don't really have to worry about that because it's an x term and we're taking the derivative with respect to an x. So here we go. Product rule says take the derivative of my first term, so x, and then multiply it by the second term, natural log y. Well, it turns out the derivative of x is just 1. 1 times natural log y is just simply natural log of y. And then from the product rule, again, we're told we need to add to that the first term as is, so just an x, and then now the derivative of natural log of y. Well, derivative of natural log of y is simply just going to be 1 divided by y, so I'm going to multiply here by 1 over y. However, I took the derivative of a y component, a y term, but with respect to x. As a result, I need to now multiply by dy dx. Okay. Continuing on, I have that this now is going to be equal to take the derivative of x cubed. Good news here, we've got an x term, no y's um, part of that term at all. So I take the derivative like usual. So x cubed's derivative, 3x squared. Bring the power down in front, subtract one from the power. So we have 3x squared. 
And we do not need our special dy dx notation again because I was taking the derivative of an x term and I was doing so with respect to x. Great. So now we can kind of take a look at this particular equation. I'm technically done finding all of my derivatives. However, I now need to go through all of this work to solve for dy dx. Here comes a bunch of algebra. So let's just clean things up if we can. So um, for starters, let's write this component here, one half times y to the negative one half. The negative here in the exponent says this piece goes in the denominator. Well, what's also in the denominator is the two. So I think I'll rewrite this as one over two y to the one half, and I'll just leave it as a one half. If you wanna rewrite it as a square root, that's fine, but I think I'll leave it as the one half. And then of course we have still times dy dx, and then add to it. There's nothing to do with natural log y, but to rewrite it. Over here, x times one over y. Well, let's just simplify that to x over y. And I still have that this is multiplied by dy dx, and this is still equal to three x squared. Okay, so all I've done is just do a little bit of cleanup here. The next cleanup step that I want to do is I want to recognize that this whole term here contains a dy dx and well, so does this one here. So I'm gonna leave those in their spots and the term here, natural log y, that doesn't have a dy dx, let's subtract that over to the other side. So I will subtract natural log of y from the left side and I'll do the same over here on the right side. Okay, so now if I rewrite the left side, I have one over two y to the one half, and of course still times dy dx remains. And I have now plus x over y that's left over on the left side times dy dx. And that now is gonna be equal to our three x squared minus natural log of y. Okay, so now we notice dy dx appears in both of the terms on the left side. So like we've seen before, I have a, essentially a greatest common factor that I can factor out of those two terms on the left side. And when I do, I have dy dx times the stuff that's remaining from those two terms when I pull the dy dx term out. I have one divided by two y to the one half power plus x divided by y. And the right side just gets rewritten. Re re Three x squared minus natural log of y. We are almost done. All we have to do here to solve for explicitly uh, the dy dx is take all the stuff that's in the parentheses here and divide both sides by that stuff. So I will show my work. I'll divide here by one over two y to the one half plus x over y. And I will do the same on the right hand side. Divide by one over two y to the one half plus x over y. Of course, on the left side, those divide out. And finally, what I have left with is dy dx is equal to, and I would just recommend you just rewrite the right-hand side. No need to simplify it unless you absolutely want to, but I would say that this is just three x squared minus natural log of y, all divided by one over two y to the one half plus x over y. And there we have now a formula for our derivative found by using implicit differentiation on our equation. So I hope you like this video. In our next video, we'll do another example using implicit differentiation. And please click on our Advantage logo to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.